Okay, so for the second uh, game in pre-season, uh, we face Chamois FC. Um, I, I guess they're a French League Two side. Um, they drew their first game against Cetadella, so a win here, and we would be uh, we would be going through in the group. And I'd probably just sim the uh, the second as uh, the third game, sorry, this group. So the team for this game uh, looks like this. Ten changes to it. Ted Smith from Reigns and Goals. We haven't got a backup keeper yet. It's Danny Andrew, Danny Collins, Mason Cox, our youngster, and Ben Davis back for the first time uh, since his uh, injury at the end of last season. Uh, the right wing, Alberto Rossi, and one of our youngsters, Pepelu, who's just joined us permanently from Levante. Uh, Sean McAllister and another youngster, Marcus Baker. Niall Taylor gets his first start uh, up front. He came off the bench in the last game. Uh, and Giuseppe Russo, our next Del Piero, uh, will partner him up front. So 10 changes, a good look here at the youngsters in this second pre-season tournament game. Okay, so here we are. We're at the Parc de Prance for the second game in this pre-season tournament. We're getting some nice stadiums for the for this tournament. Um, so we're at PSG's ground, and it's going to be uh, the League 2, League Ligue 2, I should say. You know, the French League 2 uh, club to get it underway against Grimsby. Now we can check on the lineup. See how Russo is at corners. On a bad ball again. Two decent corners from us. Rossi trying to get it onto his right, but it strikes it with the left. Just wide of the post from Alberto Rossi. Decent strike, edge of the box. Not really troubling the keeper though. Time which we should go in a second. Have they got time for one more attack? No. What's happened? We got injury to Taylor. Oh no! I didn't even see it. it. Must have happened off the ball. Lyle Taylor though has gone off. Well, he hasn't gone off, but he is injured, and he's going to have to come off here. That's a big shame. Wanted to see what he was about. Haven't really been able to do that so far, and um, he's going to have to make way. And um, Brown will come on instead. Spent a year on loan at Barnet. He's gone up three in the ratings, so a chance for him to impress now. Um, but Lyle Taylor will come here just before the halftime. So what happened? That he, what he was during that tackle? Yeah, just landed on his shoulder, I think, or his back has gone. Yeah, not really sure. But Lyle Taylor has gone off. Reese Brown shall come on to replace him. The halftime whistle should go any second as we we kick it back to them. Even though they injured our player yet, yeah, there is the half-time whistle. A decent first half. Both sides have shown their attacking intent in this one. And, um, yeah, surprise it's 0-0, to be honest. There could have been a few goals in this. Pepper has been decent on his debut. Marcus Baker's probably had one of our best chances. But as it is, it's Shamwan nil, Grimsby Town nil half-time. Yet to test Ted Smith in this second half. But we're opening up a bit here. Mason Cox trying to come across. Ted Smith pulled into a decent save on this occasion. I was just saying they haven't had a shot and tested Ted Smith in the second half. And as soon as I say that, they do it. Um, probably could have done a bit better there, but it's a corner for them. Uh, Bryson has come on for Kiki. And the header is another corner. It is another corner. Shemwell piling on the pressure now. Looking to cause more problems from this corner. He's unmarked. It's deflected. It's off the line. From I think Danny Andrew. I'm not sure. They've still got it though. And it comes again. Ted Smith needs to deal with this. And he does. Decent chance there. Well cleared off the line. And he's tackled. But we're okay. Rossi will come away. For him. Danny Andrew trying to get up. Good header from McAllister. Marcus Baker. Can we get a ball on here? Lovely ball. Sean McAllister finishes it off. It's a goal for Grimsby Town. It's not been a great game. Russo's just had a free kick saved. <laughs> Which is which had been the highlight of the second half but from that they didn't clear their lines very well and Grimsby Town lead in France once more and we won the first game by a goal to nil and we could well be winning this one by a goal to nil nice bit of link up playing between Baker, Brown and McAllister finishing it off our engine in midfield from last season pops up with another crucial goal and this one should give us three points and take us through from the group stage in the pre-season tournament. Well done, Sean McAllister. Marcus Baker feeding 
Brown. McAllister making the run through. Could he get it on? He can. Russo. That's a stunning challenge on him. Venny. Russo back. Brown's over. Brown makes it 2 0. Reese Brown. Oh, we've got two highlights to show in the second half. Reese Brown on as a substitute for the injured Lyle Taylor has just bagged his first goal for Grimsby Town on loan at Barnet last season. He went up by three overall and he's come back and made a real statement to Gary Burrowdale here. He slid in there and put us 2 0 up in this one. There is Gary Burrowdale, delighted with this second win in the pre season tournament. And Reese Brown has shown us that perhaps we shouldn't be selling him as he notches his first ever goal for Grimsby Town. Late on here, it is now Shamwa Nail Grimsby 2. Okay. Venny feeding Russo, finding the overlap of Tom Bollerinwa. Oh, whizzed past the post. I thought that was number three there. We've really pushed on well here at the end of this second half to get the win. Could have made it three there with Bollerinwa, but we didn't. I think the full-time whistle will go now. There we go. It is all over in this one. A comfortable win in the end for the Gumtree Town boys. The first half was good, quite open, quite a few chances for both sides. The second half was a pretty dull affair uh, until Sean McAllister, there he is, got the first one. <clears throat> and then Shamwar pushing for the uh, equaliser, left themselves open. And, uh, and a good little piece of play got Reese Brown through. And that gave us the scoreline that it finishes on. Shamwar nil, Grimsby Town 2. Um, player injured. Lyle Taylor is out for four weeks. OK, not great. He'll be out for a month, so he's going to miss the start of the league season. Uh, Tom Bollerin were thanking us for giving him the opportunity to play. No problem, Tom. Uh, we've got um, a bit in the office here, and it's from Ollie Harfield, who has declined our contract offer. He wants to have a bigger role in the squad. OK, I think we offered him... I don't know what, what we offered him, but... <coughs> we shall offer him... Important? I don't know. Is he going to play ahead of Amari Bell? Probably not. We might have offered him that. So I think we'll go with Important uh, and see what he says to that. He's not going to be crucial, I'm afraid. Oh, Amari Bell is first choice at the moment. Um, this is essentially to replace Danny Andrew. Uh, OK, so for the third game in our pre-season tournament group... Uh, we are going to sim against uh, Citadella. Um, the team is it's a mix, isn't it? It's um, Yeah, there's a few players there that played in the last game, but quite a few changes as well. Cox and Andrew and, and Smith obviously keep their place. Uh, Boyce comes in for the first time, so does Mills, uh, so does Chambers, and so does Venny. Uh, but Poli and Bogle, Berrett and Bruno, who all played in the first game against Arkegidnia, are all back in. So a little bit of a mixed team for this one uh, as we sim through against Citadella. As you can see, they haven't scored a goal yet um, and they've yeah, lost to Arca Gidnia in their second game after drawing with Chamois. They've had Milligan booked early on. We'll skip through and we lose 2-0. <laughs> okay, uh, and an injury to Bogle. Oh, I hope that isn't serious. I'll be kicking myself if that's a serious injury. The injury, two days. Okay, Bruce Holder, that's fine. Can deal with that. Um, 382 grand for getting through the group stage. That's good to see. And we do have another offer for Omar Bogle. £800,000 from Preston. We knew it was coming. We saw it in the press. They were going to make a big offer. They have made, I think that's the biggest offer we've had so far, if I can remember rightly. The other one's for 750 and 775 I think. So, yeah, we're going to reject again, though. We'll keep rejecting. I'm not going to counter, like, for two or three million, just in case they do say yes. And I'll be like, ah! Um, obviously it'd be a lot of money for him but I do want to keep Bogle um, for at least this season I think and he's accepted Ollie Harfield there he is we upped him to a, an important first team player he's happy enough with that so Ollie Harfield will become our second signing of the summer transfer window the 19 year old left back a good replacement for Danny Andrew who we can now sell um, we've got some scout reports to look at and a new signing arriving. Oh, we have a transfer offer uh, for Matteo Ferrari. Somebody we are looking to sell or loan, sorry, because we can't sell him yet because he's only just signed up. Um, so Luton Town want him. That's fine. Off to Luton, the 18-year-old goes. Hopefully you get some good experience. He might come back and be good enough. You never know. But um, 
Uh, we have another transfer offer just before we get into the semi-final. It's from Barnet. But, okay, this is really weird. Barnet came in for Bogle last year. Um, or in the sum, sorry, in the January transfer window when he was doing well and offered us the most amount of money uh, at that time. And they've done it again. I don't know where Barnet are getting this money from, but they've offered us 850 grand. That's a crazy amount for a small club like Barnet. Obviously, we're going to reject it. I, it's going to have to be at least... 1.5 I would say. Okay so for the third and final game that we're playing in this episode it's the semi-final of the pre-season tournament. We are up against Bourges on Brest. The team for this one Ted Smith in goal. Ollie Harfield on new signing gets his debut. Dan Jones, Adam Thompson, Henry Kelly at the back. Stefano Bruno, James Berrett, Pepperloo and Josh Banton uh, in the midfield. Up front Dominic Polian partners Giuseppe Russo. Uh, so yeah a chance to get into the final of the cup competition, earn some more money can we beat Bourges on Brest? Let's find out. So here we go. We are back at the Parc de France again for the uh, for the semi-final of this uh, European International Cup, which is being held in France. And our semi-final opponents for this one are Bourges on Brest. Oh, good work, though, to win the ball back here. Banton into Polion. Our oh, ball to Russo. Oh, massive save from the keeper. Dominic Polion with the ball of the tournament so far. Look at that for a ball. Giuseppe Russo should have finished. The keeper's outstretched leg just does enough to turn it wide. Really good play from the Grimsby boys, though. Enough. Polion will find Banton. Ball in. Decent. And it's 1-0 to Grimsby Town. And it's Stefano Bruno who has headed us in front in the semi-final. We've been dominant in this game. They've had one chance. But otherwise, it's been all us. Really good ball from Banton. And Bruno with a top-notch header for the winger. Only his second ever goal for Grimsby Town. But a very nice finish from our young Italian winger. And the number 31 has Grimsby Town one up in the semi-final. Um, it is clear through Bruno. Not quite, though. They're on the edge of the box. They've turned. They've shot. Massive save from Ted Smith. Adam Thompson got done all ends up. No, sorry, um, Dan Jones got done all ends up there. But Ted Smith springs away to make a really good save. Pepperloo. Oh, tackle from Pepperloo. He's very good at breaking up the play. Winning the ball back for us. Giuseppe Russo now. Looking for Barrett. Can't find him. Russo. Whoa, what a strike from Giuseppe Russo. It's 2 0. And it's the 17 year old Del Piero. In disguise, <laughs> striker. What a strike that is. He looked for Barrett with this pass, didn't find it. And he thought, bang, I'm going to hit this. Cracking strike into the bottom corner. And Giuseppe Russo is really starting to find some form. He's been good. He was good in the last game that I used him in. And he's been good so far. And he has found the bottom right-hand corner of the net from the edge of the box. It's our second Youth Academy graduate to score in this game. And Grimsby Town now lead 2-0 in this semi-final. Try and get clear, but Banton wins that one. Here's Polion into Giuseppe Russo. Good save from the keeper again. And boy, is this kid finding his feet at this level. Nice bit of work between the two of them. And the strike is not in the corner, but the keeper has to make a, a decent save there. Into Pepperloo. Over to Banton. Uh, that's a half-time whistle. I thought, we, <laughs> I thought we were going to have enough time for an attack there, but we didn't. And uh, at half-time, uh, we lead 2-0. Ollie Harfield. Looking back into Banton. Here's Barrett. Nice ball. Giuseppe Russo. Surely now. There we go. The youngster has been the star of the show today. And he has doubled his goal tally in this game. He's just, there's something about him. He ha he just has something. And he's just, he's just been sensational today. More than deserving of that second goal. I think it's Barrett that found him. Lovely turn. And this time, he's making no mistake. Hammering it in there to the roof of the net. Well, not quite the roof, but hammering it into the back of the net. No chance for the keeper this time. Giuseppe Russo. 
our 17-year-old, has outshone Dominic Poli, and he's outshone Pepe Lou. He's outshone all of these players. They're so much better than him overall. And our number 21 makes it 3-0 and surely seals our place in the final of the preseason tournament. Been that impressed by him. Had some OK moments. Um, also had some bad moments. Uh, shot. I want a goal. <laughs> well, they've been pushing really hard in the last few minutes and they have got a goal through Hogas. Um, you can't say they don't deserve it. They've, they've had a couple of shots in the last few minutes really trying to get back into this game and they've got back into this game. I don't know what Ted Smith was doing. Um, yeah, Thompson just gave him a little bit too much space and that's not that good a shot. Ted Smith very slow to react there. Um, very slow in going down indeed. Um, but they have a goal back. Um, Gary's not happy. He wanted a clean sheet today. But um, the French side do have a goal and it's Kevin Hogas who has scored for them to make it 3-1 here. Barrett over to Kelly. Kelly moving it on to Rossi. Side of the net. It's a penalty. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I saw the referee's flag up. I thought it might have been a corner, but it's not. It's a penalty here late on. A chance that comes to me to absolutely seal the victory. Uh, Alberto Rossi got the shot off, but yep. Defender came through. It is definitely a penalty. <coughs> And we, we've got to give it to Giuseppe Russo, a chance for a first ever hat trick. I know it's only a preseason tournament, but it would still be a, a momentous occasion for our 17 year old Pepelu standing over it. But we are going to give it to Russo. He's not. What was he? 44 at penalties. We did this before, didn't we? Trying to give somebody a penalty. I, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let Pepelu take it. And hopefully he will make it four. No, it's saved. I should have given it to Russo. <laughs> Pepelu has missed the penalty and missed the chance to seal this one completely. It's a very good save. It was going in the bottom corner, but the keeper got down very well indeed. Perhaps we should sign it. We need another keeper. Uh, and Banton will find it back to Adam Thompson. He's got tackled, though. And they've got a man over. Ted Smith's going to have to come out, but it's two. They've got another one back. Adam Thompson has made a second mistake in this game, and it's cost us two goals now. I say a second mistake. I, the first one wasn't really his fault. Ted Smith should have done better. But this one... Again, Ted Smith, I don't know what he's doing there. Uh, we should have absolutely sealed it a second ago from the penalty spot. And now, they're only a goal behind us. Simple mistake from Thompson. Just didn't get it out of his feet to clear it. They get it back and it's an easy goal. And um, very frustrating. Okay, that is surely going to be it now. We'll look down the wing for Banton. But I, hopefully, that will be full time. It is full time. <laughs> Grimsby Town are into the final of the pre-season tournament, but with a lot more, um, a lot more nerves and a lot just. Oh, I, I, what a strange game! Completely dominant in the first half. Deserved to be two 0 up. We absolutely sealed it. I thought at three 0 they got one back. We then missed a penalty. They got another back, and I thought we we're going to throw it away. We do hold on though, and that man, absolutely brilliant. It, <laughs> it is finished at the Parc de France. Grimsby Town 3, Bourges on Brest 2. We've well, answered, I don't think we sent off any transfer bits and bobs, have we? So, um, But we do have a transfer offer, and again, it is for Omar Bogle. And it's £825,000 from Charlton. Um, I'm not sure if they're in our league or if they went up. I think they're still in our league, Charlton. Um, but obviously we're going to reject that. Offer uh, for Bogle. That's going to be it for the the first episode here of season two of the Grimsby Town Road to Glory Career Mode. Be sure to join me next time when the league campaign begins in earnest as we look for a second promotion and maybe a second title here in League One. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do drop a like on it. Likes are much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new around here uh, so you can get my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, check out my Twitter and Twitch. But, uh, links to both of them shall be in the description. As usual, I am trying to uh, stream a bit more on Twitch, so um, definitely worth following me on there uh, and looking out for some live streams I do there. Normally do Rocket League and GTA, um, so a few different things to see me play. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this opening episode in Season 2. Be sure to join me next time. But for now, 
It's Tim in 27, out.